Hey everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the BH Sales Kennel Calculistic Healing Hour. With your host and moderator, me, Grandpa Bill. Welcome, one and all. Some of you via invitation were applicable. My two church mice, Peter and Paul, each and every day. Continuing now in our sixth year, consecutively doing two audio shows daily. One entitled Workouts for Geriatrics, a.k.a. Silver Streakers, good for all kids from 1 to 92. Pretty much predominantly everything about health and wealth there, health and wellness. And then two versions kind of of the same theme called Maine, as in the state, M-A-I-N-E, Maine Cross Promotions, and also Maine Mental Moments in Business and in Life. Now, retired mostly in life, but we talk about a whole array of subjects there to include cross-promoting in-state, Maine businesses, much like I'm going to talk about in the moment where I had the pleasure of doing so today with a potential Maine business. But I did want to caveat with my worldwide exposure that's applicable anywhere around the world and I have many guests that come in under that premise. And my YouTube offering is Grandpa Bill or Bill Holt at Bill Holt 8792. Please do like us, share us, give us that thumbs up. And more importantly, we're comfortable in doing so. Please do subscribe. We'd love to have the algorithms know that not only are there humans behind it, there's humans in front of it. And we're all in this together, continuing to pay it forward. And we grow one star seed at a time exponentially with your help in doing so. And we are seeing significant progress in that regard. That's due to you guys and gals paying it forward, my provocative guests that I've been blessed to have. And hopefully what are perceived as a couple of probing questions in each and every of my formats, be them audio shows or my YouTube offerings, my social media, or what have you, and we love your interaction. Thank you for really some really great accolades at Apple Podcasts in particular. Most of those there are from guests on my show and fellow podcasters that I met in the pod match arena within the confines of 2023. Much like Jason Pike, military veteran, amazing man, amazing life, two-time guest on the show. We talked to and had him on board last summer and late in the fall. And uh, I just discovered his newest release book on Amazon. And uh, I reached out to him just moments ago at, on Friday now at the time of this taping on the 6th of September, and he's coming next Monday, and we'll be doing that interview. So here at these shows, wherever you come in, regular listeners, followers, you're breezing through, you're here for the first time, you're here on a recommendation, <laughs> I had to check out this crazy AI, whatever. Thank you, one and all. Yeah, however you're here, and please continue to do so. So I'm going to recap. I usually do that for about oh, 10 to 20 minutes as to upcoming guests, what I'm going to talk about, the shows, archivally, et cetera, et cetera. So Jason Pike, for sure, will be on my show at taping Monday. Worst case scenario slash Tuesday. We've had both days open, but we're shooting for Tuesday. At, I'm sorry, Monday at taping. Also, while it's fresh on my mind, Salad Master. At, at taping on Monday, returning guest Tim Doyle, multiple time guest now. I've lost track on how many times Tim's been with me, but he returns each and every month. Usually somewhere is embraced in between the two lunar cycles, half the one is the golden ones. He'll be back Chinese taping around the world, which is great. I love it. Uh, I'll be taping that early Eastern Standard Time on Monday as well. We'll be talking about conscious and subconscious mind there. Subjects we've talked about, he and I, under that Tim Doyle and I. Subjects I've been talking about forever and ever. And again, all the subjects I've been blessed to talk about in the career, long ago, far away, Jacob Molly, and health, wellness, human, animal, authors, 
new startup entrepreneurs, much like Eliza Josette, young lady that I had the pleasure of talking to a couple of times before we went on here, and I talked, to, uh, did a couple of prelude shows about her and Sphere Head Pillow. Well, we just re- uh, finished that recording. It's all out and about and released. And a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, which is something I talk about often. You've seen it. You've witnessed it. You guys and gals tell me it happens quite often, especially in my green room, a side chuckle. My green room had all kinds of crazy bells and whistles, microphones. As always, this show is organic in every sense of the word, obviously, but it's truly about organics. So I kind of leave the bloops, bleeps, and blunders in for a reason. Case in point, right from the get-go, yeah, a little bit of microphone friction, mine, hers, and ours, in those interviews, uh, or the interview today, with Eliza Josette, pertinent to Spearhead Pillow. But fear not now, please do stay in there. They all came back, and it was cyberspace and microphones and whatever does or doesn't go on up in the sky. We kind of talked about that there. I talk about it often, and I'm curious, yellow, does that have anything to do with the price of eggs sometimes? I don't know. Anyhow, it was a very provocative show. Young lady, she has an open invite to come back. She will. I, You know, it, it was great. <laughs> Equipment, interference, a lot going on in the world right now. <laughs> don't you think? So, in that regard, also, what am I going to leave out that I probably wanted to tell you here in this quick snippet? Somewhere along the way, over the weekend, as we embark upon it, and I know you're not all sitting there with bated breath, and you hear this a lot of times after the fact, and I always say that. But at this recording, it's Friday night to six, and you know, we're going into a weekend. So I will be doing, I always kid around about my <clears throat> Jean Shallot, and I often confuse Jean Siskel, <laughs> just when you get, meaning because that's what I do with my brain disease. But Jean Shallot, the old Today Show, mostly books, but he reviewed movies as well in that segment. I have some fun, hopefully perceived as such, going through books that I've read, will read, have referenced, gone back to as many archivals. I just did a series of that. Those of you that do join the show or those of you that catch up or want to find that out archivally, I've referenced some books of humor. And I always like to try to do humor, whether I'm funny or not. It's all in the eyes and ears of the beholder, but it's so, so cathartic and important to good health. And it plays to everything we talk about at all my shows. Those are the substance, food for the mind, the body, and the soul. Food for the mind and the body. And food for the body, clean water, sustenance, all of the above. But ethereal subjects, we pretty much covered the gamut. Literally, figuratively, from soup to nuts. So I'll be doing at my radio shows uh, some of that books. Two of which specifically, 101 Ways Cats Are Better Than a Man. Check it out. If you've seen it archivally, you'll know what that's pertinent to. Very funny book. Very, very funny book. And that was written years ago. That has a theme to where we were, where we are, where we're going to get back to for sure. Greater Portland, Maine. How to visit it without looking like a tourist, what the name implies. It's about my hometown. That's going to play into the local humor that the book depicts some history of Portland, wherever you're familiar with that book and or not. The Old Port area, if you're a tourist, you live here. Casco Bay. It's also going to be integral in a mnemonic that I talk about a lot from the magnetic memory method for those of you that come in here. On my bucket list, I'm fully retired. And I do all of these things by choice in lieu of travel or whatever. And we've said that a thousand times. Whomever's bucket list will travel and all of that is wonderful. Mine is is just try to hang around and fight off mental illness and all of that. And I'm doing just fine. And it's we're doing that. 
And that certainly helps the cause, and it's something I talk about quite often, magnetic memory method, integral in that, in that process. So I'm also writing drawing board, <laughs> initial paperwork, manuscripts everywhere, not even to that point. Greater Portland, Crab Caper, unofficial title, goofing around right now, check it out mnemonically and archivally. It's based on memory method, memory palaces, mnemonics. I'll revisit that. I'll update some thoughts about where that's progressing. I'm trying to make that a communal effort. Have some fun. What do you guys and gals think about developing characters? My granddaughter, who just went back to school a couple of days ago, who's still an intern, even though this summer didn't quite materialize that way in and of itself at the show, and she's an intern at my show, she did do a couple of things. She worked all summer, and she squeezed in a couple of vacation trips as well, and she's back at it at school. Having said that, one of her courses that I can't wait, that we talked about before, you know, the actual new year became, senior year in high school, this is it, college aspirations, why we do all of this, helping her out. She's going to tutor me in Mandarin. I've talked about that archivally. I was on a seven-month sojourn, self-teaching Mandarin, and uh, I've outlined all of that. I put it all in a book, Chinese Poems. History, songs, listening to tapes online, taking an online course in Mandarin, uh, multiple choice and all that. Waiting, I did not interchange with a native tongue person yet. First of all, I'm nowhere as near position to do that. But that's the premise of my granddaughter, who's also, she's a whiz kid, she's smart. Uh, she aced out everything that. A pluses and all. She's fluent in Mandarin, writing and reading. So that's something I've talked about archivally for her future, both aspirations, secondary education, and not that long being out there and about as a young lady, very soon to be 17, semantics, October 1st, as it becomes. Uh, bullet points on, you know, helping me here at the show, the internship at, you know, is it work reference, a reference, whatever. And the cyberspace, as she takes this course, is going to be a key element, and she's going to be contributing, editor, co-author, whatever. And we've roughly talked about talking about maybe doing a Milton Bradley type clue game version of my developing mnemonic memory palace. That's so much in its infancy and drawing board stage. I've never even remotely thought about writing a book at this juncture. So we'll see, we'll see. The point on that is I definitely want communal. And that's what we talked about with uh, Elijah, Joe Sat, just starting since May, startup entrepreneur and communal, and she's very much on board with that. That's what we're trying to do. It's what I'm trying to do back, give back in retirement. Community, helping everybody, because that's how we do this, on and on. And I'm going to cut out there because I don't want to go too long here. I like to try to keep these at 15 minutes. God bless you if you're still here. However you got here, including fast forwarding. Hey, let's all get over ourselves. We do that all the time. Informational videos. If you're buying a chainsaw, a house, a boat. A plane or train, you get to the point, and that's kind of an underlying theme as well. <laughs> we all check out things without maybe, you know, McCullough versus Husk of Honor. There's reasons and why for us without, I'm going <laughs> to take out the factory or whatever. Attitudes and latitudes, that's what we do, that's how we do it. Jason Pike, military war hero. Just a fascinating gentleman. We had some great laughs at the archival shows. Uh, I'll put those links in the links of these shows as I feathered those out. We'll get back to animals again. You know, I'm doing the balancing act. I talked about that, spinning plates, Ed Sullivan, uh, staying happy, trying to, you know, natural endorphins, with the guidance, coherence meetings. FreedomSnap.org, led by Seth Lee Bizansky, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. FreedomSnap.org, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm awake now, what.com. Lots and lots of exciting news. I have an exciting provocative guest coming up. 
that we had to reschedule life. It, it's what it's all about, Alfie. Tam, there you up here talking about bioscaler and all kinds of fascinating stuff. Proof of the mind, the body, and the soul. She's going to be a very interesting guest rescheduled on the 19th without looking. And then a big event that we'll be att attaining there for those of you that have info, know what we're talking about. Thanks, everybody. I have factions of support peripherally from all factions. And uh, if you're new on the scene, please do pay it forward. We grow one star seed at a time together. Many, many intuitive groups with large peripheral numbers. Yours, mine, and ours, theirs. We thrive alive to survive. Do you interact with hopefully provoking questions? It's, you know, keeping, hopefully keeping the shows fresh. My guests always come fully prepared. I like to think I do the same and do my homework and try to make the interviews provocative. But what aren't we answering? What are you experiencing? What can we help you with? And you can do it anonymously in this crazy world, have a full appreciation on that. I've talked about that. You know, they're coming at us from all kinds of angles and all of that. At this precipice in time. So together, on and on, communally, we do it one star seed at a time. Thank you. That's the epitome of apothecary, holistic, integrative medicine, as we do the patchwork quilt, one star seed at a time. The patchwork quilt, sewing it together, knitting it together, take your pick. You guys and gals will tell me about that. Knit one, pull two, darn it, whatever. Multi-piece jigsaw puzzle, multi-pieces snapping together synergistically and in synchronicity. We talk about all modalities around the world for the history of the planet, indigenous medicine, Native American, Ayurvedic, Chinese, just the short list will always continue to support all people. Main Street, Portland, Maine, Main Street, USA, Main Street around the world, all wild animals being driven out of their natural environments, feral rescue pets, domesticated pets with the same concerns as their people, good clean foods, medications, getting harder and harder to come by, a la, we can put you in touch with people that have meticulous requirements of their own accord to run through laboratories, we'll do it together, hopefully perceived as a harbinger of good information. I am indeed the porcelain junction boss. My guests are the worsens. And with your help by participating, and thank you for your continued support with the accolades and positive comments. And we do it together. I continue to put you in touch with butchers, bakers, candlestick makers, mediators, meditators, psychoanalysts, psychotherapists, women's health experts, men's health experts. Bioscalar energy experts, artists, guided meditations, our own meditations. We really do cover the subjects. We've been blessed in that regard with worldwide exposure. Continue to pay it forward. I have so many goodwill ambassadors that continue to do that. One more time on the YouTube channel. Grandpa Bell, 8792. Like us, share us, give us that thumbs up. And please, do listen in and pay it forward. We're here each and every day. We hope you join us. Make it a safe and productive day. Bye-bye for now, and may God bless. And enjoy your weekend whenever it transpires and whenever you see this. <laughs> Peace, everybody.